You're more successful as a musician than you think you are, but your perspective is wrong. Now, I made a YouTube short about this a little while ago, but not very many people watched it. So I thought today would be a great time to talk about this particular topic because this is my birthday week, but thinking about all the years that I've been pursuing music and a career in this particular field, especially today for some reason, I've realized that a lot of the time I seem to think that I'm not as successful as I should be. And so I know there are tons of other musicians out there, including you watching this right now. I know that one of you who feels this, that is currently thinking to yourself right now, I'm not where I want to be in my music career. First of all, I do want to say that that's a totally valid thing to feel. I think it's totally okay to feel like you want more out of your life or out of your career and you want to be further along because it's this kind of mindset that keeps us going forward and doing more and pursuing our goals with the most vigor. But the problems come when we don't recognize the things that we've already accomplished up until this point, no matter how big or small that is. One of the biggest examples I can give you is the example of my YouTube channel and how, yes, I don't have millions of subscribers like some of my peers do. Part of me feels like I should have more by this point because I've been on YouTube for 13 or 14 years. Has it been that long? 18 years. Technically, let's think about this visually. I went to WrestleMania this past April. So the attendance tonight is 80,000. And I just wanted to point out to myself and to the people out there, this is what 80,000 people looks like. Why? Because I'm the best. When I walked into that stadium and I saw how massive it was, and I thought about the number of people in there, you mean to tell me that my subscribers can sell out SoFi Stadium two times, 170,000 people. So it's not that we're not having success. It's not that we're not making moves or moving forward or having some kind of growth. It's just that because we're in the pitter patter of the daily grind, always trying to make a step forward, always trying to come up, always trying to do something to bring us closer to the end goal. We're not really focused on everything behind us that we have already surpassed that we have already accomplished that we've already done the people that we met the the artists that we collaborated with the milestones that we've reached but it's so necessary sometimes to look back over the past and see all the things that we've done I feel like life as we live it can be a little bit too linear if you know what I mean if we're just kind of going straight and we're constantly moving straight we don't ever take a chance to look backwards. We don't ever take a chance because people think that if you look behind you, if you look back, you're like going backwards. And that's not necessarily the case. So it's definitely possible to reflect on the things that you've done prior while still moving forward. is to just not let your mind get stuck in what you could have done or should have done. Could have been records. <laughs> but instead, look at the things that you have done and how that has affected you currently. Even if it's something that's not necessarily the biggest or most proud moment of your life, think about how it crafted you into being who you are today. Some of the things that I've gone through, I'm definitely not happy that I went through them or some of the trials and tribulations and some of the music that I made that I feel was pretty stupid and, and sounds pretty horrible. But had I not made those songs or those albums, I would not be the producer and the music artist that I am right now in this moment. Had I not started a studio in my bedroom and then subsequently moved on to a truck when I became a truck driver and then started my channel on there and then quit truck driving, quit jobs altogether. I never would have had this if I didn't take those incremental steps in starting my studio with the old broken screen MacBook I bought off of eBay. And then I fixed it with a $150 screen I also bought off of eBay. Don't look backwards and think of failure. Look backwards and think of 
experience. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret here. I used to own a dropshipping store way back in the day. And one thing that that taught me was how you can invest so much money in ads and not make any sales. And you would think, man, I just lost a thousand dollars running an ad on something that no, nobody bought. But what I was taught was, instead of thinking of it as wasted money, think of it as an investment and in something that you learned. Because what did I learn in that case? I learned something about my audience. I learned that they don't like this product, or I learned that a certain section of this audience like this product. And so now I can move forward in the future and better market that to that audience. The same can be said about your music. You may have made some terrible songs in the past, or you may have done things that you felt didn't necessarily grow your career so much. But instead of thinking of it as a failed attempt, like me trying out for The Voice, American Idol, X Factor, I think about eight years in a row, I tried out for all these things and I failed every single one. There was only twice I moved to the second round. But instead of now thinking of that as failure after failure after failure, now I think of it as experience in performing, experience in branding myself well enough to where somebody can resonate with who I am as an artist. It taught me about branding myself. It taught me about storytelling for myself. And most importantly, it taught me that not every path is going to be for you. Sometimes you're meant to go down a path that not even you're aware of. And that very path is the thing that's going to take you to the exact place you need to be to see the success that you want to see in the first place. But you have to be open to these different opportunities. I think about these different moments in my life where I have faced adversity and I've been told no by so many people, so many executives and TV shows. And you know, even one reached out to me recently on YouTube and I was told no, once again, you see these things as failures so many times. But instead of that, think about the fact that, whoa, somebody reached out to me to be on a show, a TV show. If I was telling myself these things 10 years ago, I would be like, man, that's great, great job. Like somebody actually reached out to you you're on a different level. You're on a different playing field, right? You're at the level to where people are even approaching you for these things. I can say the same about my sponsorships that I've gotten from Antares Autotune, and I've run ads for them and I've made commercials for them, or Lander, or Lyric Studio, or Arturia, and all these other companies that have reached out to me to make content for them. Me, 10 years ago, was just trying to get my first sponsor. All of these things that I've done in my past have gotten me to where I am now. And even though it can be hard sometimes, it's like with great power <laughs> comes great responsibility. It's, it's, a, there, it's a lot more to bear on your shoulders, but that just means you're at a different stage. I just want people to see what success actually is because chances are you're experiencing it right now. You're just not looking at your life in the right way. You don't have the right perspective. So the moment you change the way that you look at your past, the moment you change the way that you look at your current situation, the perspective is the moment that you'll realize you're succeeding more than you think. You're doing more than you thought you were doing. You have to allow yourself the time to reflect, not out of shame, not out of what could have been or what you should have done, but out of what you did do to get you to where you are now. And even if that is an inch it's a still an inch. It doesn't have to be a mile. It doesn't have to be way down the line or way up the ladder. If you moved any bit forward in any way in your life, whether it's how good you got in your music production, whether it's 100 fans, 10 fans, those are 10 fans you didn't have before. Whatever it is, how no matter how small or big, if you moved forward, you made progress. And I want you to look over your life and think about these things and give yourself the credit that you deserve because you are more successful than you think. Just change your perspective. Stay legendary. Thank you so much guys for your time and watching my video. If you found it to be helpful, please leave a like. And also if you plan to watch a few more videos while you're here on YouTube, I've got a really cool video here that I think you're gonna really enjoy. <laughs> but either way, here it is. You can click it if you feel like you wanna watch it, all right? The algorithm thinks you might. I don't know. The robot, the ro the AI. <laughs> Peace.